confidence is not necessarily evident in what a person says, rather more in what they do. We can presume, therefore, that the real Paul Pogba may be about to make himself known at Manchester United. It is only a week and a half ago that Pogba could not get into this team. As United succumbed at Liverpool a week on Sunday, the Frenchman was not even summoned from the bench by Jose Mourinho. Now Mourinho is a footnote in United's recent modest history and Pogba is back in the spotlight for the right reasons. Match facts, player ratings, Premier League table and match zone Manchester United, 4-2-3-1, the G8, Dalit 6, Young 52 min 6. Five, Joan 7.5, Lindelof 7, Shaw 6.5, Maddox 7, Fred 5.5, Herrera 52 min 7, Mata 7, Gomez 80 min 6, Pogba 8. Five, Lingard 6.5, Rashford 8. Not used, Bailey, Pereira, Romero, Fellaini, Gomez Gols, Matic 28. Pogba 64 and 77 BOOKDD, Fred Cash and Gamanager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer 7. Five H U D D B R S F I D L D Town, 541, Lossel 7, Hedergenage 7, Jorgensen 7, Schindler 6.5, Congolo 6. Five, Darm seven, Kachunga six, Low fifty six min six, Pritchard seven, Billing seven, Mbenza six point five, Quainer sixty one min six, Depoiter six, Mounty seventy three min six. Not used, Hug, Bakuna, Hammer, Stankovic dot goals, Zanka eighty eight B O O K D D, Catching Gamanager, David Wagner six. Five R E F E R E E John Moss six M A N of the match Paul Pogba season at a glance live tables fixtures scores Premier League Premier League Championship League One League Two Scottish Premiership Scottish Division One Scottish Division Two Scottish Division Three League One Serie A La Liga Bundesliga more tables more fixtures more scores the 25 year old scored twice here to kill off a Huddersfield team that appear to be better than their league position suggests. But it was his second goal, driven wickedly into the bottom corner with his right foot that set everything for the volt face that appears to have taken place in Pogba's mind. It was a stunning strike, delivered from a standing start from 25 yards and guided away from goalkeeper Jonas Lotzlo with a right to left golfer's draw. Only a technically proficient footballer could have pulled it off, and only one with self-belief running through his veins would even have tried it. As for the celebration, that carried its own message too. Standing as statuesque as he often looked under Marinho, Pogba pointed up towards the scoreboard high above the Stratford end. It didn't carry his name, but it signaled the second victory of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's short time in charge. It was a win that had Pogba's influence written right through it. There will be harder tests for United than this. There will be bigger challenges for Pogba too. The run of games facing Solskjaer as he settles back in at his old club could have been any more accommodating had he chosen them himself.
Nevertheless, Solskjaer has been tasked with delivering an upturn in results, and after two games he has six points and eight goals to reflect on. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer watch at Old Trafford four minutes, Solskjaer had started sitting nestled between Mike Phelan and Michael Carrick in the dugout, but was up on the touchline directing traffic. His main focus was to talk Diogo Dalla through exactly what was required from a positional sense, with the manager demanding his full back stay higher off the pitch when United boasted possession. Nine men's gesticulated at Phelan that he wanted the ball moved with more urgency in midfield. The Norwegian gave a fair bit away with his body language, flinching involuntarily when the ball was conceded cheaply or an attack broke down. Eighteen minutes after settling in his chair and with United yet to break Huddersfield down, Solskjaer was back out on the grass. Paid more attention to Juan Mata, offering a number of pointers to the Spaniard while projecting where he must move off the right. Twenty-three minutes, no histrionics when Marcus Rashford was mercilessly sit down by Elias Kachunga and instead opted for a quiet word with assistant referee Stuart Burt. Twenty-nine minutes, up and jubilant, punched the air as Nemanja Matic broke the deadlock. There were hugs for Carrick, Kieran McKenna and Emilio Alvarez. Jogged down to celebrate with Phelan, who had been bellowing orders from the technical area. Fifty Mins had already seen enough after the break and immediately called for Ander Herrera and Ashley Young. Both were briefed by Carrick and McKenna before Solskjaer offered a jolt of encouragement just before they entered. Sixty-four minutes, relief etched across Solskjaer's face as Paul Pog was swept in a second. An outpouring of emotion on the bench, where he remained for the majority of the second half, included what appeared to be a congratulatory nudge from McKenna following the move. Big thumbs up to the crowd afterwards.78 minutes down on the touchline to manage the latter stages only to then witness Pogba's stunner. Another punch of the air, this time towards the director's box. Soon gave Angel Gomez a run out for Mata, who was then entwined with Solskjaer until the pair reached their seats. Eighty-five minutes, asked for a wave by the Stratford and then obliged. Job done for Solskjaer, even if Huddersfield scored a consolation late on. By Jack Gogg and this was a more difficult afternoon than the headlines will suggest. This was a different game to the Cardiff one on Saturday. In Wales, United took the lead early and fed off that confidence. Here at Old Trafford, United had to work harder. Their football was less fluent and they were asked more questions inside their own third of the field, some of which they did not answer convincingly. Once again they relied on their own goalkeeper more than they would like and looked vulnerable at the occasional set-piece. However, 
there has been plenty of improvement under Solskjaer already. We have mentioned Pogba, but Marcus Rashford was running in close for man of the match up until the third goal, while central defenders Phil Jones and Victor Lindelof have taken steps forward. United's tempo is better, meanwhile, as is their use of the ball. Leading after 28 minutes on Sunday, United recovered from a slow start and survived an early chance that was slashed over the bar by Huddersfield defender Terence Congola. Moving on to a long throw that was flicked on, Congola was only eight yards out and totally unmarked. He should have scored. Maddox's goal was even more straightforward. United only threatened from distance early on, but when Lindelof's header was cleared from the line by Christopher Schindler after a Rashford corner, Maddox prodded it into the net from five yards. The goal was greeted with some relief by the United supporters, but for a while the home team couldn't quite shake Huddersfield off. Philip Billing and Alex Pritchard were both excellent when the Yorkshire club had the ball and when the latter fed the former in first half injury time, the resulting shot crashed into the side netting when a strike across David De Gea may have brought an equaliser. Huddersfield threatened early in the second half too, and when De G saved athletically from Laurent de from a corner in the 61st minute, the visitors had probably created more clear chances than United. An equaliser then would have been interesting. We would still have fancied United as they do appear to have goals in them once again. Nevertheless, Pogba's first goal of the game came only three minutes later and was as timely as it was well constructed. Rashford and Juan Mata did very well down the right and when the Spaniard pulled the ball back, Ander Herrera on for the horribly out of form Fred moved it sideways to Pogba who scored right footed from about 15 yards. That was a lovely low shot from Pogba, and when he repeated it from 10 yards further out with 13 minutes left, he looked ready to walk away with the match ball. There will be greater tests for him and for United as winter gives way to spring and Huddersfield's late consolation goal, Matthias Zenta scoring from a set piece, served to remind us that vulnerabilities remain. But the decision to jettison Marinho has given this squad the adrenaline shot it required. If Pogba doesn't kick on from here, he will have nobody to blame but himself.